Well, what's going on everybody? This is Mehul and welcome to your 11th bootstrap tutorial in which we'll be starting off with a mini application development kind of you can say and that is to create an application to upload images on your server uh, not like kind of server but it would be targeting that interface but as you know that would require a kind of server side programming as well in your favorite language let it be PHP or C sharp or whatever you like but I won't be touching server at all because in these tutorials I just want to focus on bootstrap and JavaScript stuff so let's get started real quick now to get started first of all you would obviously need to create a navigation bar and to create a navigation bar we have learned that before let's just go with div you can also go with nav if you like nav bar navbar default and navbar fixed at top simple enough now the next goes navbar header and then finally we have H href and the class should be navbar brand uh, let's just call it awesome uploader why not and then if you want to create the list items in your navigation bar you can do that with navbar collapse collapse and then just a regular unordered list of navbar and here you go your allies go here let's just say home about contact uh, what else purchase or you can just say whatever you want go down blog are you sick or whatever you like so let's just take a look Oh, so that kind of looks tacky and I guess we are missing the missing the hrefs that's why that's happening uh, I'm just gonna place the links real quick and uh, the closing tags as well perfect here you go now this kind of looks a bit aligned to left so to fix that I'm just gonna throw all this code in a container easy enough and why not just indent the code a little bit here you go so looks nice now the next thing you need to do is you need to hop over to your style file sheet oh, oh did I just spelled it or you know pronounced it the other way around style file sheet <laughs> it should be file style sheet now this is my style sheet style.css and inside here what you need to do is just add a padding of um, 50 pixels or something don't ask just do that now I'm just going to show you why you need to do that in a while now for now just go and throw in another container and don't worry if you are thinking like or you are being lazy to type all this code don't worry I'm going to start a form at code dam real soon and there what I'll be going to do is I'm just going to place all of these files you see these one two three four numbered there in a organized manner so you can just go there and you can just download that but currently it's not live and I've technically speaking not started it either so you know it would take a bit of time to do but once all of that would be done and completed I'll just edit the descriptions of all of these videos and would place the link for you guys alright so coming back to business let's just add a simple greeting message to the user and uh, let's just say the user the most awesome file uploader ever period 
and that kind of looks a uh, bit you know this sentence has a bit of strength in it and uh, you can just go ahead and type a smaller description as well allows you to upload images and kinda <laughs> download them again <laughs> well that's weird but that's why it's awesome and and as you can see this appears here and the reason I wanted you guys to add this padding 50 pixels is because if you remove this you should probably know what would happen and this would happen now you see this div just starts from the very first pixel of the screen and the reason being this navigation bar is a fixed navigation bar you can see here its position is fixed right here so you see that it would just stick to the screen and all of the elements would not care whether it is present or not you should probably know that before because that was kinda understood if you know CSS alright so I guess that's pretty much it for this tutorial and in the next tutorial what we'll be doing is we'll be creating a kind of interface for this web application and then we'll be working with some JavaScript as well and uh, all of that cool stuff so stay tuned with me don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching I'll see you then next time